Time now for News Extra, brought to you by, appropriately, First State Bank. Here's Kevin Mooney. Wow, how does that work out? That is cool. That is cool. We are we Planet are Planet. talking yep. First State Bank today. That's all right. So uh, Becca came in initially and said, well, there might be just me, or there might be two or three, and we've got three of them here today. Becca Tompkins and Rick Tuggle and Mike Downey, we're going to talk about the gift of love. And, uh, man, you got... So many things uh, people can do with this, and you got 337 names this year on the tree, huh? Yeah, it's great. We always kind of hover around that um, 300 to 340 names, so it's great. It's that 300, chil- 300 children in the community that will have a brighter Christmas from our programs. So. Okay. So when people go in and take a name off the tree, and there's still, what, about 50 to 60, something like that, names left? Mm-hmm. Uh, explain what they what they need to do. <clears throat> well, we ask them to come in and pick a name and then go to shopping specifically for that child. Um, each of the tags has a wish list, um, clothing items, uh, necessity items, and then usually something that they would really like to have. So we ask you to come in and pick a name, uh, go shopping for that child, and then bring ba- the item back uh, unwrapped just in a Walmart sack with the tag attached to it or in the sack it doesn't really matter uh we have to go through and look at the items and we label them because our wonderful friends at the knights of columbus help wrap all of that and we just want to make sure that each item um, that is purchased for that child stays for that child so we go through them and then we pack a gym up and we take them down to the knights of columbus the week of the well it'll be the 12th that we take them down there yeah all right some of those kids ask for uh you know when i when I've taken names off the tree, you're amazed at what they ask for. It's like they ask for just the absolute basics. Yeah. Basically. We, we see socks and underwear consistently on there, um, coats, uh, bath items, um, sweaters, cl- a lot of clothing. Almost every tag will have clothing items on it because they're in need of those. And it's usually warm stuff that they see, snow boots, gloves, that kind of stuff. So, yep. so it'll tear at your heart a little bit. Yeah. But uh, anyway... Uh, Get on down there if you haven't done it already and take a name. And well, It's a perfect opportunity with Black Friday coming up on, Fri- on Friday to come get a name or two and get some gifts for them. All right. All right. So we should get work these two guys in here. Absolutely. Huh? Um, all right. I'm almost scared to uh, have you guys even Say open that. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> all right. Uh, tell us about the truck of love there. Mike and Rick, what uh, I mean, it's it's worked out pretty well too. How long have you done this anyway? Thirty three years. Thirty three years. Yeah. So whose idea was it? Do you know? Sharon Dennels. Yeah. Way back when I, I, uh, I came to the bank almost twenty four years ago, and it was going then, and it was really dolls. They were they were um, knitting dolls and things for kids at that time. But it's it's just continued to grow. Obviously, we've got the truck of love that we do on uh, the 13th of December, 9 to 2, uh, at the Scotts Bluff parking lot. Uh, NTC has provided a truck for numbers of years for us that we try to fill that truck with uh, gently used toys. And uh, Lakota Lutheran has a van down there. We try to put um, some used, um, gently used coats for their use. And and then the National Guard is there helping us. And they also help us with uh, the can uh uh, food drive and, and i guess rick can talk a little bit about that and what happens there all right all right rick you're on there bud well i just wanted to mention on the truck of love for sure santa will be there so bring your kids out yeah he uh and bring cash we also donate cash for that not yeah. for santa but for, i mean he, <laughs> yeah, but, but but actually the cash stays right in the community we use that to fill other needs things that didn't get purchased those types of things and uh, we're able to donate a lot of coats because of that cash as well um the school canned food display has been going on for several years as well and and we do a collection challenge so we challenge uh, elementary schools primarily around the uh, community and uh, we take it up a notch by by making them make a display. We've seen a number of displays. We've seen castles, we've seen Christmas trees, we've seen trains, and uh, so they use their creativity, and then we take pictures of these. Again, have to thank the National Guard because they help us take all of those displays down once we've taken pictures for judging, and then uh, we load them in the truck and we go ahead and take them. And uh, we uh, take all those to St. Agnes this year and uh, help their food bank there. And uh, again, that's a tremendous need, not just 
this time of year, but all year long uh, to keep those full food banks full. Um, and then uh, the Valley Christian Neighbors in Need uh, deal with uh, distributing those cans to the families that need them. Yeah. So it works out pretty good. So uh, like we said, this is sponsored by First Aid Bank today, so we better get in the break. Let's do the break. We'll be right back. Love touches everyone, both those who give as well as those who receive. For 33 years, First State Bank has been able to touch the lives of many in the panhandle through our Gift of Love program, and this year is no exception. We invite you to share your love by picking a name from our tree of names or donating new children's coats. You may leave your donations at either of our First State Bank locations, 2002 Broadway in Scotts Bluff or 1540 10th Street in Gearing, by no later than December 10th. All donations stay in the Valley. Won't you give? First State Bank member FDIC. All right, we are back having fun with uh, the employees at First State Bank today, talking about the Gift of Love program with Becca Tompkins, Rick Tuggle, and Mike Downey. And uh, we've talked about the Tree of Names, the Truck of Love, the uh, big uh, collection challenge at the elementary schools. The other thing we need to talk about is Coats for Kids, right? Yeah, it's a final piece of our um, whole program. Uh, we noticed a few years ago that coats were consistently bec- something on the wish list. And whereas they still are on the wish list, we decided that a coat is absolutely not a want. It is definitely a need. And that um, we wanted to do something bigger than just hoping that the kids got the coats on their wish list. So we partnered with the Shriners Baltus Fund. And um, I go out and I clear Walmart out a couple of times a year and provide about 120 coats plus, depending on sale prices, to cap win to give to children as they come in and apply for their holiday food and wish list program. If the um, workers there see a coat on there, they just go and they grab it from their selection and give it to them uh, to hope to kind of get more coats on these children. So we do a main part of it, but we can always use more coats. So when you're out, you know, doing your Black Friday shopping or just out and about and you see sales on or even just full price coats, we have uh, collection boxes in both of our lobbies um, for those new coats. Um, we would ask that you only put new coats at that time um, in the boxes. Um, we will take used coats on the Truck of Love Day, but for the boxes, we really ask that they just be new. Um, and just hopefully to get these kids warm in the community. All right. Good deal. Think I have a Husker coat I never wore. Maybe I ought to give that. Well, maybe. No, I'm only kidding. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, my Buffalo one, I still wear. Okay. And then the, the last. And nobody would want it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would. That's right. I would want it. You would want it, but Co- you and I are the only one, Rick. Um, and if there's not, if you feel like you can't physically do any of these, um, portions we do accept cash donations at the um, both the teller lines we use the, that cash that we do take in to help um, there's always children left on the tree um, we take that cash and we go fill fulfill those needs so we don't have any child that is left without a Christmas um, and then we also use some a little of that money for the coats and then also um, for various portions um, we donated some of it back to Valley Christian neighbors in need to help um, cover their uh, holiday baskets the meals and that kind of stuff so cash is always very accepted as well all right okay so there it is you have lots of ways to participate in the first state bank gift of love program so if you have any questions just give Becca a call over at, over at first state bank okay yeah, I just like to thank the community for their support of this program and they've been supporting it for 33 years every year it gets bigger um, they've just done a great job, and our community does an absolutely outstanding job helping Absolutely. helping people. So we thank them for their support. Okay. Yeah, this is a great community. They do a good job. All right, very good. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks, Kevin. You bet. Bye.